Greetings, schools, and girls, and welcome back to Gothic Tech. My name is Raven, and tonight we are finally going to water cool my PC using the Captain 240EX. Four months ago, I got this. Yes, it's been sitting for four months. Four. You know why? Because I hate. I repeat, I hate installing all in one water coolers. First of all, let's get her naked, shall we? So, what's inside the box? Two 120mm fans, dead trees, more dead trees, a fan splitter, which is so fucking awesome. Thank you so much for including this. Buttload of screws and mountain, mountain uh, brackets with a logo. And finally, the cooler itself. It's 120 milli, I mean, 240 millimeter duh it says this on the box you can see the thermal paste already pre-applied and the red tube which looks awesome i'm i'm going with a red theme like uh, a vampiric look anyway so let's install this here is everything you'll need to install the am4 first of all the back bracket itself as you can see there's two orientation for it the front I mean the back and the front and the front has these things over here to indicate it you'll need the fan hub if you want it the extension four screws to be mounted on the back like like a so like this and if you notice there is two marking on the blade itself one that says AM4 and one that says AMD AM4 is for AM4 duh and AMD is everything lesser than AM4 so AM2 AM3 AM3 plus thank you AMD for giving us such thing so we don't have to buy a new bloody cooler for every chipset aka take that until the lug nut the spacers these metal things and eight i say eight fan screws and these screws i don't know why i just put them there and of course you have a badge not vag i said badge yeah i'm bad at these videos deal with it so here's my dusty lovely Ryzen PC with the stock cooler as you can see GTX 1080 AM Extreme CX 750 AM well from Corsair power supply two fans as an intake three HDD drives and one SSD because I'm poor I'm really bad at this I should make things beforehand and do it but yeah be be mean at me in the comment that will make me work harder that's what i do about my sex life as well so now let's start by taking off the old cooler With all the screws gone, just lift it and you marvel in the application of AMD's thermal paste. Like seriously, it's like chunks, it's like chunks, holy crap, this is bad. We need to wipe this off with some alcohol, with the CPU cleaned now. Time to install the bracket, just like I showed you before, behind the CPU. Navigate through your cable slash spaghetti invested back thing 
and cut the bracket through the holes and that's it make sure you do some cable management i'm sorry i'm lazy i don't like cable managing stuff now with the back plate inside take one of these nuts <laughs> these nuts and thread them through another one another one and guess what another one and then take one of these two put them through and make sure that the hole is facing the inside so toward toward the CPU now take the smaller nuts these ones and thread them and like that you are done with the bracket that will hold the cooler this has always been the suckiest thing about mounting an all-in-one cooler installing the rad alone is a pain in the ass especially when you have big hands and you can't control intricate things so this is why i hate aio i find tipping the uh, case to the side much more easier though okay so here what will happen i'm gonna s install the cooler itself first tighten it up then install the fans because it's a bit of a pain in the ass to be honest the cooler is installed and secured in place all we need to do now is just install the fans installation done all we need to do now is press the button and see the moment of truth. So, let's go. Ooh, I see light. Holy shit, this is loud. Yep. Yep, it's working. It's working and twerking. Heck yeah. But yeah, it's done. I need to work on the profile for the fan but other than that, it's working. So let's plug it in and check out the temperatures. Okay, well, here in open hardware monitor, I limit every fan to 25%. And the value for the highest is 29 and the lowest is 22. Here, almost the same thing, but I don't use HW monitor, I use, I use open hardware monitor, so that's a success, I guess. It used to be around 34 to 40 on a idle, when it's idle, that's a lot. But now at least it's, you know, manageable. So I'm gonna leave it here, I know the video is just sucks I know that so I'm gonna do another follow-up where I compare stock versus overclocked result on multiple things like Unreal Engine, Blender, Cinema 4D, uh, Premiere for some reason Premiere doesn't use all the cores on a Ryzen 1700 so I'm gonna see what we can do with all the eight cores. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like it, stab the like button downstairs and I will haunt you later. Bye. F12 bitches, well, there is no F12 again, so red button bitches. <laughs>